Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Precision Manufacturing System. Today I'm back with another interesting video and also practical video. Uh, actually, today I'm going to talk about uh, how I can uh, show and visualize the DM particle uh, which is uh, which are obtained uh, from uh, any uh, softwares like lights and uh, as you know we cannot visualize in in, uh, in those uh, software and we need a third uh, actually a software for visualization so uh, i use i use a paraview for visualizing the uh, actually uh, the, the particle and the result of the DM and uh, at the beginning I have a ch big challenge to uh, visualize the particle like uh, like what you are seeing in the picture like this one as a uh, red and blue particles uh, with actual uh, size and actual radius and uh, like a real uh, actually particle not as a point so and also how we can uh, extract the data such as force velocity and uh, coordinate of each uh, 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 of each uh, particle from paraview like a file like this one uh, as you can see uh, mass of each uh, particle the, the velocity in three direction uh, uh, force in three direction radius as as you can see there are two uh different uh radius of particle and uh, also the the points and coordinate in x y z direction okay to get this kind of uh file from preview uh, and also uh, to visualize uh please uh, with me please be with me until end of this video and uh, before starting the video please uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and uh, our channel really needs your support and uh, motivation uh, i really grateful if uh, you could subscribe to my youtube channel okay uh, let's get started and then uh, open your preview and uh, open your file that's from here sorry next stop nice example mm. dm and let's choose one of these okay and uh, here you should select apply to confirm your model and first of all you should put it on radius to show the range of radius that you use in the uh, simulation and as you can see here you just have uh, some point if it's clear uh, but we need a real size of particle to do that we should click on this option and put it on sphere and you can actually put it on whatever you might uh, i use actually radius and also for better to have better view you can select uh, access grid to have a, uh, the dimension of your boundary and select camera parallel project to have a better view so and remove this okay now your model is created and everything is okay and you can see the particles uh, with real uh, actually size with real and actual uh, diameter and shape and uh, after actually finishing your model or you can easily uh, do it by like this one and see the end of your simulation 
you should go file and yes save data or uh, and you should uh, specify the path and name I would put it 100 and OK and here nothing uh, but yes nothing but OK and here you go your file is ready and you can see as you can see we have the mass of each particle velocity in each direction force radius and uh, actually uh, coordinate in x y z of each particle and you can easily use this information for your uh, further uh, work or task or whatever you uh, you want to do and also you can get uh, more information from your simulation if you uh, specify some more uh, output from your DM simulation. Thank you so much for being with me until the end of this video. Actually, this is uh, this was my challenge at the beginning of my work. For that's why I wanted to share with you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be strong motivation for us. Thank you so much. Bye bye.